Now, why do you all think that we're setting on a, a ticking time bomb? I think a lot of you can probably figure that one out. But there's a lot of stuff that's going on, and we are literally setting on a ticking time bomb right now. We're going to start off. We got a lot to talk about. So we're going to start off China. Do you all know that there's 327.9 million people that are under lockdown still to this day? Nothing's going on over there, folks. I've seen people have commented on videos from this past week and everything else. And they've said that, you know, the ships and stuff, that they seem like they're, you know, there's not as many and they're catching up and everything else. It's because there's nothing coming behind it. But nobody here in the government or anybody else wants to tell you that. Put two and two together, folks. If they, if there's 327.9 million people not working in China in 40 major cities, what do you think is going to happen when it rolls around later on this year? Yeah, we got plenty of supplies and stuff coming in right now. What's going to happen later? See, everybody thinks of now. Nobody wants to plan ahead. And that's what I just don't understand. There's too many people nowadays that live in the now, and nobody wants to even acknowledge that there's any issues, problems, any concerns, or anything else. And they just don't want to really deal with the prospect that their little lives are going to fall apart. And what are they going to do? The government sure how ain't going to be there to help you. They're going to be taking care of their own and that's it and everything else. The rest of us are on our own. It's just the way it is. And then we got South uh, North Korea. Did you all see that? Um, I guess now he has a submarine. Uh, I don't know what kind of submarine it is, but you know. I guess he's got a submarine now and he fires some missile out of this sub and somewhere over towards Korea out in the water. But, you know, um, you know, I think he's just uh, he's stirring the pot because he isn't uh, the number one person in the news right now. If you get what I'm saying, uh, that's for the little boy on the other side here. <clears throat> we have. um Taiwan and South Korea, they want uh, they want more protection from the United States. They want uh, more military might on their doorsteps because evidently they just don't trust either North Korea, which I wouldn't either. And I don't think Taiwan trusts China. And then we're going across up through the mountains and everything else and we're getting over to what's going on over in ukraine russia and all that you know um supposedly uh, the little man over there is uh uh he's saying that they're redoing their um their playbook for their game they're playing in ukraine and they want to um they're going to bump things up and um, it's going to change the outcome. This is what he said, folks. Now, also remember, May 9th is rolled around on Tuesday. Um, it's a very important day to watch. Uh, uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully it's just more BS coming from the little man over there in Russia. Time will tell. It's a couple days away. Um, we've got to pay really close attention to that. I also did see, um, on top of our $33 billion in support to Ukraine in military supplies, aid, and everything else, uh, England just posted, I think they're giving them like $1.3 or $1.5 billion, somewhere in there, um, to Ukraine to, you know, get them whatever they need. Um, there are so many people out here, it's looking like uh, they just want to... I guess just write checks instead of uh, trying to deal with anything themselves, which in a sense makes sense. I mean, nobody really wants World War III. But um, we'll see what happens. I mean, there's just been so much stuff that's going on and everything else. And then we come back over here again. And um, 
you know, I put a, a video out this past week and I talked about the stock market, how it went down last Friday. It dropped 900 and some odd points. And I think my video came out on Wednesday this past week when they made that huge announcement that they just raised our, you know, the interest rate up a half a point instead of a quarter of a point. And the market rallied, you know, it's like everybody was like, oh, yay, you know, the government did something. And then what happened the next day? Well, anyway, somebody commented on my video and they're like, well, you know, yeah, it went down 900 points then, but it's, it was up 900 points today. And the following day on Thursday, she tanked again over a thousand points. There's too much instability out here, folks. And it really doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at this and say, we got a problem. We've got open borders and Lord only knows what's going to start happening with that. Now all these people are going to start flooding in and where are they going to start going? You know, who's going to give them jobs? Because if something happens that we fall into a recession, there's going to be a lot of businesses that are going to start to close. That's what happens during a recession. You got diesel prices. Well, I don't know about all over America, but here in Florida, it's 567 down the street. I'm telling you, there's a lot of loads that aren't going to be moving. I have my video that's coming out tomorrow. It's all pictures that were emailed to me this week. People are starting. If you guys want to email me pictures of what you're seeing in your stores and stuff, I'll put them in my Sunday videos. I have no problem doing that. You guys can email them to me. The, my email address is in the description below. If you guys want to do that, that's totally up to you. I'm not asking anybody to do that, but I got a whole ton of pictures, prices and everything else. And this is just getting scary. I did receive an email from uh, a couple and he is a truck driver. And he told me that a lot of refrigerated loads are not basically really paying the bills anymore. So they're not moving them. These independent truck drivers. And as I've said before, you know, there's over 300,000 independent truck drivers. If you take those out of the equation, if they park those trucks, we're screwed. Plain and simple. This ticking time bomb we're setting on is more like you stepped on a line mine. And if you move, you're a goner. And I really hate to put it that way, but that's exactly what this is like. I'm tired of people all saying that there's nothing going on and nobody believes that there's anything wrong with what's taking place nowadays. Are you blind? I just don't understand it. You stepped on that line mine, you move, and you're going to be blown to smithereens. So what do you do now? That's the question, folks. What are you going to do if the bottom falls out of whatever? What are you going to do if there's no more food? What are you going to do when there's no more anything that's moving around? Do you have a plan? Do you know how you're going to survive? How are you going to provide for your families? These people that are out here and they just keep turning, you know, and they, they put these comments and stuff in. And I don't let them get to me anymore. But I just find it fascinating that just because they walked into one store and the shelves were pretty much full, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then go back in history, not too long ago. Remember what happened in March of 2020? When everything turned to chaos in the stores and people were fighting over everything, the last few cans of this or the last, you know, package of toilet paper. That's where we're at. I don't understand. I can't understand how people, especially if you have a family and you have kids, how you wouldn't want to have some type of a backup of some kind, any kind. You know what I'm saying, folks? I mean, this ticking time bomb is at one point or another is going to explode. There is just no way around this. Something majorly is going to happen. The writing's on the wall. 
we're too divided, we're, we're too far in debt, the interest rates are going up, you got the stock market that's one day it's up, one day it's way down, you know, I mean, it's, it's on a roller coaster ride. You got everything that's taking place between China, North Korea, Russia, Ukraine, and everybody else in the middle. You know, everybody's, it's like crunch time here, you know? And there's a lot of people that are standing on this mine. And all it takes is for one of these morons to do something stupid. And the next thing you know, we're in World War III. It's just a fact, folks. I mean, I, I'm not sitting here making this up. I mean, think about it. If something happens, if, they, if Russia accidentally drops a bomb, say, in Poland or another NATO country, what do you think is going to happen? You think we're going to go over there and just slap them on the hand? We can't. We, we can't do that. That's not, that's not why we're part of NATO. We're forced to defend that country. Everybody in NATO, not just the United States, but everybody that is in NATO. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's a witch's brew out here, folks. That's really what it is. And we're not really getting anywhere here. We're, we're, we're just not quite there yet. You know, I mean, there, there is more than one ticking time bomb. I guess you could put it that way. It's like you walked into the minefield and you're trying to tippy toe around all the mines that are out there because you're just trying to get home. That's all you want to do. You just want to go home. You just want to, you just want to go home, be with your family. And you got all these mines out there. You have no idea where they are. You don't even know if they might go off. And I mean, what are we going to do, people? It's the same way with your preps. Everybody should be prepping. Everybody should be getting ready. And I understand it's very difficult for, there's a lot of people on here that have commented. They're senior citizens. They have issues with, you know, once they pay the bills and stuff, they, they don't have hardly any money left, you know, and, and you, people with disabilities. There, there's people that are working and they're still considered poverty. You know, people are doing, there are people out here that are doing the best. They, they're doing more than people that like Social Security, disability, the people that are working, but they're still on the poverty level. And they're trying to just to put up a little bit at a time to be prepared to somewhat. Then all these people out here making all this money and sitting back saying nothing's wrong. I don't see any problems. Don't worry about it. You know, you're nothing but fake news. Um, you know, you're fear mongering. You're doing all this. It's like, really? Well, if that's what you think, well, go on down the road because I'm going to tell you exactly how it is and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it because that's the whole reason that I started this channel almost two years ago is because I want to make sure that people are aware and I want to make sure people are prepared. That's what I care about. If you don't want to give me a like, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that, whatever. You don't want to subscribe to the channel, but you still watch the videos and if you're still learning something, and I know there's people out there watching right now. If you haven't subscribed, that's fine. You don't have to. Maybe you're afraid that maybe some of your friends might see that you're subscribed to a prepping channel. And, you know, you don't want to do that. And I get it. All right. Peer pressure. That's out there. You know, I have a, well, I can't, I won't say it on here because it's not very nice. But I have a basically don't give a shit attitude. I'll put it that way. And, you know, once I finally figured that attitude out, I, you know, I just, life was so much easier. You people out there that are living um, in fear of what other people are going to think, because if they see you putting up uh, a few extra cans of canned goods or SpaghettiOs or something for your kids in case something goes wrong, um, you, you're worried about that. You're worried about somebody making fun of you because you're putting up something for your family. You need to remind them of this ticking time bomb we're setting on. And you also need to remind them that, you know what, it's my family and I'm going to do what I think is right for my family. And I want to make sure that people out there know that.
period. You know, I mean, if you got friends, work, you know, work, people you work with, relatives, I mean, relatives can be the worst. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure maybe some of my relatives, if they watch some of my videos and stuff, they probably think I'm crazy. But you know what? I really don't give a shit. You know, I'm going to do what I think is right. I'm going to do what I have to do to make sure that my family is taken care of. I'm going to make sure that I have enough preps in my household in case that something happens and I got to try to reach out and help somebody in my family. Now, when COVID hit, I did that with my mother. She couldn't get to the store. You know, she doesn't have a lot of money. She's on social security. She's in her eighties and everything else. I sent her care packages, boxed up a bunch of stuff and sent it up there. And you know what? That's what I got to do. That's what I'll do. I don't care what it costs. I just send it up there. It's my mother. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I do the same with my kids and everything else. I don't care. Whatever it takes. Send it to them. You know? But that's the mindset you people have to have. You have to stop worrying about what the world thinks of you. And you have to start worrying about what, you know, Tommy and Johnny and Debbie and whoever else, you know, are they spreading gossip about you? Who cares? The point is, folks, is you have to be prepared. That's the whole point. That's the name of the game. You watch any serious prepper channel out here, all right? And they're, they're going to tell you the same exact thing. The same thing. You have to make sure that you are doing whatever you can do to make sure that you are prepared and you're ready because this landmine we're walking through and this ticking time bomb, folks, it's going to explode one of these days. And when it does, I pray to God that everybody that's out here, everybody on this channel, or even the people that are watching that haven't subscribed, I want to make sure that you had the opportunity to make the choice to be prepared in a time of need. That's my goal as survival preparedness for beginners.